Well, Brent, Sarah, this is an area where residents are used to some level of flooding when it rains, but never to this degree. They tell me that previously existing drainage issues were made all the worse by that heavy rain we saw on Sunday. And unfortunately, that led to some homes here being condemned. Intense flooding on Cherry Street in Naugatuck. It, it's scary. I'm in shock. I'm mean, really in shock. I, I've never seen this in 38 years that we've lived here. Has forced some families out of their homes. Mr. T, we call him. Sweet man. Lived there his whole life, raised his family there. His house is condemned and he's leaving. He said, no, not coming back. Six Cherry Street homes have been deemed unsafe for human occupancy, with at least one likely to be torn down. It was heartbreaking last night watching the neighbors next door actually get into a kayak to get out of here. The Naugatuck Fire Department joined by neighbors like Eric Sweenier in rescue efforts. I, I literally jumped off my porch and swam across the street. Uh, we were kayaking up the street to get people in, in and out. Now, neighbors they've known for decades just suddenly gone with nothing but debris surrounding the homes here. You can see on this home the foundation caved in, water lines showing just how high these flood levels got, and residents of Cherry Street now feeling less than optimistic as they take it day by day to rebuild. Um, I'm trying to get through it right now. I mean, it's a, it's a mess down there. We, uh, we're, this is very, it's emotional, mental, it's fatiguing. Where to begin is simply just trying to save what we can, what's important to people, trying to stop mold, trying to stop any further water damage. It's a rough road ahead, but one these neighbors will navigate together. I couldn't do anything to stop any of the flooding, but I could help them. That's, that's the only way you can get through is with each other. And according to the Naugatuck Fire Department, damage assessment and cleanup was continuing through this evening, but likely will continue for up to several weeks from now. Residents here were looking to bring in some dumpsters that they could find to help with the cleanup of their own homes and flooded basements, and also looking into any assistance from some insurers if there's anything available. We're live in Naugatuck tonight. Kaylee Collins, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.